What's going on? It's your boy, Inspiration is Key. I'm coming at y'all with a video today, hoping y'all having a good day. You see where I'm at, you know where I'm at. I'm connected with the source. Let me get a lift because it feels so good. I hope you've been having a great day, a phenomenal day. Continue to take that time out for self. Continue to get right with the source energy, surrounding yourself with people who want to see you win, see you thrive, who want to see you get uplifted because it feels so good and i'm sending you good energy now today in this video we're gonna be talking about why it's so important that you learn to love self realize that if you continue to go on this journey of life not loving self it will be almost impossible for you to love anyone else understand that love is built and established internally before giving and dispersed externally. You have to know what it feels like to love self before you can do it with anyone else. The main reason why some of us go into relationships expecting or wanting someone to build us up or be the other half of us is because we haven't learned to love who we are. We have to learn to love who we are. We have to take the time out for self to learn who we are so that we can love who, you, who we are. Realize that if you don't know who you are, how can you love who you are? You have to establish a knowing of self so then that self-love can be established. It wasn't until I decided to take the time out and get away from all the external energies that I was able to learn who I was and be able to love who I was unconditionally because I didn't have any energies trying to persuade me and tell me who I was. I established that knowing. I established that love. And since I've built that within, now I have a lot of people who gravitate towards me because I, I carry that frequency. I carry the love vibration. And that's how we want to be so that we can attract love into our life. And so that we can create and have relationships with people that are actually meaningful, that actually hold value, that are actually real. You know, some of us go into these toxic relationships and it's taking a toll on our well-being, on our health, on our mental health. And we're not understanding that it's a reflection of self. Everything that you experience is a reflection of self. So you have to do the shadow work. You have to do the inner work. You need to see what you need to assess so that you can attract healthier relationships, more loving relationships. So it's important that we learn to establish self-love. It's important that we take that time out for self. I say it all the time because it's very crucial. You've been, we've been conditioned to look outside, outside of self. Oh, if I get with this person, I'll be fine. I'll be complete. That's what you've been told. But in all reality, that's not the case. Taking the time out is what will do that. And you will naturally begin to attract those energies into your life. So let us learn to build self-love. Let us learn, continue. Let us continue to go on the journey of love. And let's continue to <laughs> get uplifted because it feels so good. So that's all I got for y'all. I appreciate the love and support. We're going to continue to get uplifted. We're going to continue to become our greatest version. And it's your boy, man. Inspiration is what? What? Key, baby. <laughs>